On this channel here, I talk about allegations and human drama, but once in a while, I get into box office numbers, which are somewhat related to things that went on. Because as you know, Giant Depp got dropped from the franchise, unrightfully, but Disney's struggling. They played with the idea of Margot Robbie as a pirate, maybe someone to be the face of the franchise. Now that Barbie's doing really well, they might actually reconsider that. But the point is, if they don't get this right, or if they don't try it, they might not have too much left up their sleeve. So let's see what we got. They go on to say, Haunted Mansion's box office did not meet Disney's expectations. I didn't even know that was a movie. I didn't even know it was out. So yeah, must have not been that popular. They go on to say Pirates 5 in 2017 did real good at the box office. And they say that Disney's wait for Pirates 6 has seen other ride-based movies not succeed. So I guess they're trying to say, while Disney's not making Pirates, they're making other movies based on rides and attractions, and they're not working so well. I don't even think of this as an attraction movie. I guess technically, yeah, you could put it that way. It's pretty much a Johnny Depp movie. They once again say, in 2023, The Haunted Mansion is an example of how Disney's struggling. And they go on to say that Tomorrowland was another huge failure, which made only $29 million. They say Dwayne Johnson's Jungle Cruise barely made the money back, and Haunted Mansion now is just about breaking even, which is pretty bad. And they go on to say... Pirates of the Caribbean is Disney's only truly successful ride franchise. They say it's the only one in the mix that hasn't struggled, and we know that because they're going to say that the average for these movies is $900 million between all of them, which is pretty good. Yeah, $1 billion would be great, but $900 mil ain't so bad for an average. They mention that Barbie's done a billion, I guess implying that it might not be a bad idea to give her a shot. Because of that, I don't make the connection. I guess she's an okay Barbie. I guess she fits in the movie, maybe. But as far as the Pirates fans, I don't think it's quite the same crowd. So all in all, the whole thing they're implying is, if I read this correctly, well, if you guys bring back Johnny, it's going to do a lot better than your other movies here that aren't even breaking even barely, and the least it's going to do probably is like 800 million, which is pretty darn good, if not more. Let me know what you think in the comments, doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. Obviously, goes without saying, if Johnny's not in Pirates, it doesn't really matter who else is. Doubtful, the Johnny fans will see it. If you don't subscribe here, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.